When do individual rights trump those of society? Parents who choose not to vaccinate their children have been lobbying lawmakers for months over the vaccine bill, hacking the hallways last month for a 12-hour public hearing. Right now, children can be exempted from vaccination requirements for medical, religious, or philosophical reasons. The bill would change that, leaving only the possibility of a medical exemption. Um, so the main CDC the supports the bill, saying the number of unvaccinated children vaccines. and cases of illness have increased. And as the Education Committee tried to decide what to do, there were plenty of strong feelings. I support the goals of this bill, but I vehemently disagree with the implementation. For us to say to a whole group of students, we just don't want you anymore, it flies in the face of what we all espouse to believe in on this committee. Getting all of our children vaccinated is about protecting our children, all of them. We have to make decisions in 2019 that are for the greater good, and this is one of those. In the end, the greater good argument won. All those opposed? The motion carries. The 8 to 5 vote was split along party lines. Democrats, like bill sponsor Ryan Tipping, support it. The goal here is to make sure daycares and schools are a safe place for kids to learn and grow and play. Uh, and I think moving this bill forward achieves that. Republicans, like Heidi Sampson, staunchly opposed. That this is a civil rights issue. We have, we are now segregating these kids, minimalizing them. We are forcing through coercion and threat tactics to get them to comply or they get expelled from school. So I live with vaccine injury every single day. And for parents like Rachel Ortiz of Bangor, the outcome is very personal. Ortiz says her son suffered a brain injury from vaccine. My son had an underlying condition that we didn't know about. So for every parent that is coerced into vaccinating a child again, you know, against their will, I, I take issue with that because if they have an underlying condition like my son, I know what the potential outcome is. The vaccine issue now moves from the committee room to the full legislature where the passions will be just as strong and that core debate over parents' right to choose versus the common good just as intense. In Augusta, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. The Maine CDC says there are about 2,000 unvaccinated children who would have to leave school if this bill becomes law. Opponents claim the number is actually much higher.